toy. It walks, it talks, it says, <laughs> Each one comes in its own crystal ball. Collect one, collect them all. Be the first one on your block to own the amazing new mini Mario toy. Hurry before they're all sold out. Hurry, buy one, buy them all. 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 And they sold out! <laughs> okay, with all jokes aside, Mario vs. Donkey Kong was originally a Game Boy Advance exclusive that came out 20 years ago, and now it got itself a huge remake over the system itself. Story goes that Donkey Kong just wanted to buy some Mario toys, but they sold out, so he got angry. So he went to the factory to steal some, so Mario has to go chase him after Donkey Kong starts stealing them. So, what you need to do is well, it's more of a platforming puzzle game, so you need to like solve puzzles like how to get a key and open doors, and then you get the mini Mario's to rescue. There's also presents, so if you get like a gold star for every stage you complete, you can unlock these expert levels, which again, it only requires the gold stars in order to play the certain expert level levels per se. You can jump in the trash can or enemies, you can throw them onto other enemies, or you can use like a trash can to jump up to different obstacles if you can't reach them, or to use your mini Mario to do the same thing too. Or you can put it on the spikes and then you'll be fine getting across without having any trouble. Same for little mini Marios, which doesn't happen until like later in the game, but that's fine by it. I also want to point blank mention some features that I forgot to include in the initial video. Now, there's not really that much to say, but the two new features I've noticed in the game is that you can play with one friend in co-op mode, locally per se, as the other person plays as Toad, and you guys can play throughout the whole campaign. Also, there is time attack, but you can't play in the game in co-op, unfortunately, but if you guys want to play the game in two different gameplay styles, you can play a more relaxed style or the classic way as you would in the original. So that's maybe all I want to like put in there since I forgot to actually include that. So I'll let the video continue. Depending on how, as to how good you are in the game, these levels will take like about a minute or two just to complete and then you'll be just fine then. Most of the levels are easy, but there are some brutal hard levels and <laughs> they require some patience, but don't go too go don't go too slow because there's a time limit and time goes by fast, as they all say. Most of the bosses you just fight Donkey Kong, but beforehand you have to take these Mario toys and you have to get them to collect the letter that spells out toy. After you do that, you bring them to the chest, you put them all in, and then you're all set. Now, I believe my first time experiencing Mario vs. Donkey Kong on the Game Boy fans was at a local Target, as there was a demo of the game, and I never owned the game. But I would get it on the Wii U Virtual Console Shop, and that was how I was able to play the game at first. So... So there's also these... Donkey Kong bosses, which involves you throwing barrels or trash cans at it, or once in a while, maybe bombs. But I will just say, most of these elements for this game carry out through Donkey Kong, which came out on the Game Boy. Not to be confused with the arcade game, that's a whole completely different game. Because the Game Boy game tricks you into thinking you're playing the original game, but you're not. Instead, most of the elements from that, like handstanding and getting the keys to open doors, are all there intact, just for you guys. So, if you guys may have not played Donkey Kong on the Game Boy, well, this is a welcoming addition for you guys. Also, Donkey Kong on the Game Boy has this Super Nintendo exclusive color palette. Make you look like you're playing your arcade game, so I think that was cool. Which I'll talk about at some point in the future. So, there's plenty of different ways to get across in this game. Like, you have to watch out for, like, ice slopes, or you have to do, like, this triple jump with the little handstand involved. You have to also, you have to, like, rope climb and whatever, too, and then you have to, like, swing yourself and whatnot, too. So you'll find different obstacles that are in your way. 
Mostly in this game, the presents are easy to get, but later levels, they're a bit different. Because they're a lot more harder than you guys would think. I guess if it wasn't for this game, we wouldn't have things like Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2, which took in a huge different overall direction where you control the mini Marios. But I think some of the core aspects has still have the same idea as so like, well, being able to control the mini Marios and also at least just guiding them per se. And also certain Marios have their own keys involved. And then there will also be like a spawn wave different Mario vs. Donkey Kong games that came out mostly on the handheld devices like the DS, DSi, and then 3DS, and then also Wii U, as I should say. Even though it's not a handheld, it was still brought over to that system regardless. Maybe I'll talk about more about those other games at some point soon, but I think you guys will have fun playing this game. It could be easy, it could be fun, and it can also be frustrating to you to like complete these levels. Also there's these one-up levels where you get them at random I guess you can say or at least by certain levels of completing them. So you go around grab the key and then you have to open this chest before the time runs out. I did give like what 30 seconds to do so but the key keeps flying away from you. So you have to try to find a way to get it and then open the chest. It rewards you 5 1-ups, so make sure you keep getting the 1-ups. Also, earn more 1-ups by completing levels, as per se. Now, I actually did some comparing to this and the Game Boy Advance version. Some levels have minor changes, per se. Well, buttons-wise, when it comes to like pushing switches of red, blue, and yellow, they look pretty different. And some of the levels that you guys may have played on the Game Boy Advance, they have some small changes here and there, but mostly it's still the same Mario vs. Donkey Kong with some small changes, but you're still going to be experiencing the same game entirely, so for this remake I say you guys should definitely give this a try, but if you guys haven't played the original game too, then you guys can try that as well. Who knows, maybe they'll add the original in the Nintendo subscription like they did with the, the Link's Awakening. Uh, from the Game Boy. Anything is possible.